Hey friends, today's lesson is all about natural resources. Can I just tell you, on Saturday, I went for a walk and it was so beautiful outside. The sun was shining, it was a nice crisp day, and I came up to this gigantic tree and I was just in awe of it because it was so big and beautiful. And then all of a sudden the wind started blowing and I saw that there was an apple tree. There was an apple growing on that tree. Oh, good. I love apples. And then the wind blew again. And I, uh-oh, what is that? A DS? Oh, this tree grows DSs. I didn't know that. Awesome. That's super fun, so I'll take it. And then the wind blew again. Oh, pizza? Oh, I didn't know that pizza could grow on this tree. Good, I'm getting a little bit hungry for lunch, so that worked out. A diamond ring? A diamond ring is growing on this tree? This is my favorite tree. Water is on this tree? Oh, that makes sense because it probably rained. There might be a little bit of um, water left over. And then oh, a cute little teddy bear to cuddle. Friends, this is like the coolest tree I have ever seen. Have you ever seen a tree like this walking through the park? No, of course not. Because this tree is a little funky. Something is going on here. It does not look right. Hmm. Oh, this actually can help us out today because today our learning goal says, I can identify natural resources. Natural resources. What does the word natural mean? Hmm. Well, natural means it's found in nature. Someone didn't have to create it. It's just found right when you go outside. So like, let's look at this tree. Can we find apples on, on trees normally? Yeah. Someone doesn't have to like build an apple. It's just like already there. DS is, uh, I don't think that that is natural because normally I've only seen those really at the store, like at Target. Uh, pizza, let's see, I normally call Domino's and ask for my pizza, so no, that can't be right. Diamond rings, oh, we only get to go to fancy jewelry stores to get diamond rings. I don't ever remember going to a tree to get it. Yeah, water's found outside. No one has to like build water, so that's probably natural. And teddy bears, I mean, I literally went to a store called Build-A-Bear where I built a teddy bear. So I don't think that they're natural either. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. You know what? Things like DSs and rings and pizza and bears, those are all man-made. Uh, something that's man-made is an object or something that people have created. So like somewhere along the lines, someone's job was to make a DS. I mean, I think that sounds like a super fun game. Raise your hand if you would like to have the job of making DS's and video games for the DS. Yeah, me too. I mean, I also wouldn't mind making pizzas and diamond rings. Those are all man-made. Now, sometimes we get confused because it doesn't mean that only men or only boys can make those items. That's just what we call things that are created by people. So, here we do. Let's do a sort. So, on one side, we have some natural items, and the other side, we have man-made items. You're going to help me decide if the items I'm going to show you are natural or man-made. Here we go. Ooh, a camera. What do you think? Natural or man-made? Yeah, totally. I remember seeing that at the store. It's definitely man-made. What about dirt? <gasps> Ooh, that was a tricky one. Yeah, it's natural. Good job. I mean, you can buy dirt in bags like at the store, but for the most part, um, no one had to like make that or create it. It was already found in nature. They just bagged it up. What about sneakers? Oh, I can't even trick you. Man-made, good job. What about chickens? Oh, yeah, chickens, that's something natural. It's found outside. It's totally created by nature. I don't have to, like, do anything to, like, build a chicken. I mean, unless I wanted a Lego chicken. What about air? Yeah, air is natural. The wind blows all the time and moves air all around. What about an iPad? Yeah, definitely man-made. I mean, I wish I had an iPad tree, but I don't. All right, so we just sorted things that were natural and man-made. Let's try one more. What about the sun? Yeah, natural. That's already the brightest star in our universe. We didn't have to make it. And quite frankly, we'd probably like burn our fingertips if we tried to make it now. Well, good job. You did an excellent job of sorting things that were natural, you know, things we can find in nature or things that man, are man-made, that people created. Now our learning goal said something about natural resources. So what are natural resources? Natural resources are things found in nature that people can use. 
So they have to be something that's natural that we find in nature, but then also that we can use it. So like for example, we can use water for energy. So this is the picture of a um, water turbine. And what happens is the water fills up and then it goes through this little thing right there. And then as it goes through there, it's churning and then we can capture that energy to use for electricity. Ooh, you know what this is called? That's actually called a wind turbine. It kind of looks like a fan, do you agree? Yeah, one natural resource that we can use besides water is wind. What happens is that's a big, it kind of looks like a big fan. And when the wind blows, it turns the turbine and then the turbine collects all the energy that we can use later for different things. Ooh, this is a picture of an oil geyser. Now oil is like this liquid that you can find in the ground. You really normally have to drill like really far down to get it. But that's kind of the stuff that we use when we are driving our cars and using machines, we use oil. Some people even use oil to warm their houses for their heat. And then another natural resource is gas. Did you know that? Yeah, there are pockets of gas in the ground that we can use so that we can use that for our natural resources. We use that a lot for when like we're cooking or heating our homes as well. Okay, so all those things are found in nature and then people can use them. So that's natural resource. Our learning goal for today says, I can identify natural resources. And that's exactly what we did. Remember, when you're thinking about natural resources, first it has to be something that's found in nature. People can't create it. That would be man-made. And then resource is something that people use. So something natural that we use is a natural resource. I hope that helps you to identify those natural resources.